hello guys welcome back to this wonderful channel good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and where you are listening to us from we love you if this is your first time of joining us on this channel go, just go straight and hit the subscription button the like button the share button and also the notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first to take it the legal council thomas nam the kanu the leader of the indigenous people of Nigeria, Ejimako, has called on the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, to release Mazi Nam Dekano to prove that his apologies to Nigerians is genuine. Kano has been in the custody of the Department of the State Service since June 21, after President Buhari led Nigerian government arrested him in Kenya and returned to Nigeria for continuation of his trial on treasonable and felony charges led against him by the government. Barrister Aloy Ejimako, lawyer to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekano, has asked President Muhammad Buhari to prove that his apology to Nigerians is genuine by releasing the indigenous people of Biafra leader from detention. Kano has been in the custody of the Department of the State Service since June 2021. President Muhammad Buhari led Nigerian government arrested him in Kenya and returned to Nigeria for continuation of his trial on treasonable felony and terrorism charges leveled against him by the government. However, the Nigerian government Court of Appeal in its judgment in October 2022 discharged and acquitted the South East Secessionist Group leader and ordered his immediate and unconditional release from detention. But the Nigerian government objected to the appellate court ruling and appealed the judgment at the Supreme Court why Kano remained in detention. On Friday, Sahara reporters reported that President Buhari asked Nigerians that feel hurt by his actions or policies to pardon him because we are all humans. The president had said, having been a governor, minister and the president twice, I think God has given us an incredible opportunity to serve as your president. I thank God for that. So please, whoever feels I have done wrong to, we are all humans. There is no doubt I hurt some people and I wish you would pardon me. And those that think that I have hurt them so much, please pardon me, President Mohamed Buhari said. Reacting to the President Buhari's apology, Kano's lawyer, Ejimako, said that Buhari's policy of self-determination led to extrajudicial killings, detention, torture, and an infamous extraordinary rendition. Ejimako on his Twitter handle said, Dear at Mr. Buhari, your policy on self-determination led to extrajudicial killings, detention, torture, and an infamous extra extraordinary rendition. Prove that your apology is genuine by freeing Mazen Nandikano and all detained on account of self-determination. It's your legacy. My people, you people have seen as the story is going. Um, the legal counsel to Mazen Nandikano, uh, Ifan Ejimako, has called on President Muhammad Buhari to release Nandikano if actually his apologies to Nigerians is genuine. Remember that the other day, Buhari apologized to Nigerians, those whom he may have offended or whom he believed that he had offended and he is asking them to forgive him, maybe through his policies and the rest of them. But Ejimako has given him a punch saying that if he actually, if his um, apologies is actually genuine, that he should release Nande Kano because Kano is among those that President Muhammad Buhari has offended. And Ejimako went on to say that President Muhammad Buhari's policy on self-determination has brought extrajudicial killing and even all sorts of things in the nation that if Kano's, if uh, Buhari's apology is genuine, that she, he should go on and release Maz Namde Kano from the DSS detention. And I think that Ejimako has a point there 
that the other time um the organizers and Debo asked Buari to release Mazen and the Kano as a gift to them. And of course, you know that if Kano is left in the detention and Buari leaves office, that could also lead to a restarting of this court case or I don't know how it may go about because the incoming government might not really pay attention to this case because they were not the one that started it. But if they desire to take up from where Buari stopped, maybe they might go on to release Nam De Kano or maybe to take other decisions on his behalf. But um, I think um, if um, Buari should be good to Nigerians and also to Ndibo and the southeastern part uh, especially, uh, I think he should release Mazen Nam De Kano from the DSS detention and in order to be able to prove that his, his apology is genuine. Of course, you know that Kano has been discharged and acquitted by the appellate court, but the case was taken up to the Supreme Court. But I think um, when someone is discharged and acquitted, he should be discharged first, and then if uh, the other party, the opposite party or the opponent party, has other case against the individual, that is when the person will now take the case up. But after Mazina Nekano has been discharged and acquitted by the appellate court, he is still remanded in the DSS uh, solitary confinement. And of course, you know the condition of young Mazina Nekano and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra who has been in the DSS detention. He has been facing a lot of health challenges recently. The other time it was his health and this time he is suffering through is suffering from ear problem and when he was diagnosed it was found out that he's suffering from what is called tinnitus of course uh, people that are in the medical line will have more explanation for that and recently there is a report reaching us that um a tuberculosis patient was uh, patient was brought into a canal cell and he's very close to Mazen and the canal and somebody sorry uh, tagged it uh, a biological weapon to eliminate Kano in the DSS solitary confinement. And that is very bad if actually a tuberculosis patient is sent uh, to the prison or to this jail custody where Mazen Nandi Kano is remanded. Of course, you know the that um, tuberculosis is very infectious, that it can infect anybody even by getting in contact with the person's saliva or something like that. So I, I think um, Buhari should do the needful if he is actually apologizing to Nigerians. Also, remember that there are other people who were arrested as a result of this um, self-determination struggle of the indigenous people of Biafra. Many people were arrested and also some people were killed, especially um, there is this name that has not been forgotten, someone, Ikonso, who was, uh, who was, you know, uh, martyred some time ago, who was sent to judgment uh, some time ago, and all these things. So I think um, if the president is actually making a true apology to Nigerians, let him go ahead because he has the authority and the veto power to release these people from the DSS detention. And of course, if you do that, nobody is going to question him because as a president, he has the veto power to pardon someone. He can even pardon a criminal. So why not pardon Mazen Nandi Kano or Hamadike one of Ndibo? Let him grant uh, Kano a pardon and let him be released from the DSS detention. But as it stands now, I think um uh, we still have 27 days or 26 days to the day of the handover. Maybe who knows what is going to happen. The Chukwu Kikabiyama God Almighty who lives in heaven might go on to touch the heart of the president uh, because there is nothing too hard for God to do. And there is this saying that says that what God cannot do does not exist. So what God cannot do does not exist. Chukwu Kikabiyama, whom the Igbos are serving, might still arise uh, to intervene in the case of MNK by touching the heart of the president. So I think I will encourage the indigenous people of Biafra and those to whom it may consign to go on, to go ahead and pray for MNK and also pray that God will touch the heart of the president to release MNK from the DSS detention because there is this saying that says that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he turned it like many waters. So the heart of the president is in the hand of Chukwu Kikabiyama who is capable of doing anything.
let me draw the curtain here if this is your first time of actually joining us on this wonderful channel go up and hit the subscription button the like button the share button and also the notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first to take it thank you for listening we love you in this info news tv